What you see on screen are the text animation that you will learn today how to make in DaVinci Resolve. First, we have this slide in with fading. Add the text plus layer to the timeline, write what you want and choose a font style and change the size. Then just click on it, then right click and open in a fusion page. Now to animate it, go over here in the inspector tab and again right click and click on follower. This new tab will appear, the modifier. And every animation style that you saw will be animated from here, but with a different settings every time. Now go to transform. Make sure it's characters over here. Go to the first frame and add a keyframe in offset. Move like 10 to 15 frames and add another one. Return to the first one and move the X value a little bit to the left. And it will be moved like this. Now, to add the fading, create a keyframe in opacity in the shading tab and move like 7 to 10 frames and add another one. Again, return to the first keyframe and drag it to zero. It's simple, I know, but the real magic happens here in the timing tab. In delay over here, make it around 0.5 to 1, but you can increase it or decrease it according to your liking. And as you can see, every character will have some delay from the other, but it lacks smoothness. So go over here and open spline, select the template and click here to show the whole keyframes graph. Just select everything and click on F to smooth it out. But to go even further, Ctrl plus T to show the settings over here, in ease in, drag it like this, and in out, drag it like this. This way the animation will be fast in the beginning and it's going to slow at the end to give us this smooth movement. Now to the second style, like the first one, go to the fusion and right click and click on follower to open modifiers. Make sure you are in the first frame and create a keyframe in offset and move again 10 to 15 frames and add another one. Now here, drag the Y value a little bit up to have this animation and in shading add two keyframes in opacity and reduce it to zero in the beginning but here in this style we are going to add another thing to make it unique in the shading tab over here in softness add keyframes both in x and y and move like the offset before and add another one return to the first keyframe and make them both at 20 and you'll have this animation and in timing tab in delay again make it around 0.5 to 1 to smooth it out, like the first style, open spline and select everything. Click on F and Ctrl plus T and make the shape and it will be smooth. If you're still watching until this point and find this helpful, make sure to subscribe to the channel because I'm going to showcase how to edit different viral styles out there. In DaVinci Resolve, of course. Now, the third style is actually very easy to do. We have only one settings to animate, which is the size in the transform tab. Create two keyframes in both X and Y and move like 10 to 15 frames and create another one. In the first keyframes, reduce both of them to zero. It will be like this. And to add some spice in the timing tab in delay, make it one. But again, just experiment with another value to match your vision. And in spline, smooth everything with the same steps as before. And there you go. Now to the last one. Again, with the same steps as before, Go to modifiers, but here in transform tab, just change the transform settings to word rather than characters. Create two keyframes in the offset, and before you animate the first keyframe, just add a rectangle mask to the text. Just drag it from here and simply connect it to the template. As you can see, it covers some parts of the text. Just drag it like this, or in the width settings, make it one. And in the center over here, in the Y value, drag it up just before it covers the whole text. This way, when you return to the first keyframe and lower the Y value, you know exactly how much you will lower it to cover the whole text. And in timing tab, in delay again, make it around 0.5 to 1. And again, smooth the animation with the same graph as before. Or to make it faster, select the whole graph and right click and in ease, click on out cubic. And it will be like this. If you want some motion blur to the animation, click on the tools tab and in the settings, activate it over here in motion blur. For me, I always make it as default, but you can play around with the value to get the look that you want. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for upcoming tutorials.